So in my last video on this topic, I talked about this stream clip shared by Dextero of Pokemon responding to someone criticizing her for the price of her cookies. I'm like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven. Seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but... Uh, like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Okay, yeah. anyway. Chase Demore reacted to this by saying, This has to be a joke. Pokemon, there are people that work extremely hard daily doing jobs most would consider not as fun as streaming. There are better ways to word this. This is damaging not only to you, but those who are in the business with you and this cookie. Pokemon quote tweets him and says, While what I said was 100% intended to be a joke, I see why it came off as insensitive, and I apologize for that. I also understand the current price of the cookies may be expensive for some, and promise will continue to consider pricing to keep Mina as affordable as possible. I also want to clarify that this was said towards one rude chatter. I did not at all intend it to be a general statement or towards my community. Ragnarok responds by saying, says something extremely insensitive, when gets called out, oh I was joking, ooh ooh, notice me. Optimus responds by saying, if you were continuing to consider pricing, then how come you attacked someone in the comments earlier, claiming they were spreading incel rhetoric when questioned about the pricing? You've conveniently deleted that tweet, where you got destroyed destroyed by everyone, curious. And for those of you wondering what this deleted tweet was, here it is. As you can see by the reply made on November 19th, her tweet calling criticism towards her cookie price, incel rhetoric, was posted on November 17th, meaning that it was up for two days before she got backlash and finally deleted it. Anyways, moving on, outranked response to Pokemon by saying, it was not a joke, laughing my ass off. Epic NGG quote tweets Pokemon with a screenshot of the definition for Schrodinger's idiot, someone who says really stupid things then decides whether or not he was joking based upon the reaction of people around him. So, since a lot of people obviously think this response from Pokimane is disingenuous, let's take a look at the likes Pokimane placed on tweets after her apology in order to better understand what she truly thinks about this situation. This first one she likes is from X Chocobars who says, Some coward anonymously gifted a sub to an account they made called Mina Cookies Cash Grab, and it baffles me that they spent their time and money to do that. I bet they complain about the price too, lol. Like, go donate that money to charity, or use it for something good instead. If you don't like the cookies, don't fucking buy them. Breeze tweets response by saying, Like, I totally get defending your friend, but it's not as clear-cut as, Don't like the price, don't buy. That is such an elitist take. I'm sorry. X Choco responds, Elitist? How? There are price ranges for all kinds of cookies. Just go for the many others, no? Breeze tweets response, You were right. There is other options on the market, but to rebrand an already existing product and up the price by three times is just bad business. If they were the same price, it would be okay. Pokies cookies, $28 for 16 ounces. Other cookies, $10 for 14 ounces. Make it make sense. The next tweet Pokey liked is from Furting Glitter who says, guys, they are just cookies. If you don't want them, don't buy them. Someone who's rich rich releasing cookies for cash grab makes no sense. It's just cookies. Y'all really just hating over the smallest things. This next tweet she liked is from Pathwatcher who says, I don't know why I keep losing the keywords I used when posting this clip, so this time I'll make sure it's easier for me to find in the future. Psychono, I feel like Pokey gets more drama than the average streamer, you know? Undeserved also. She's a very nice person. I feel like Pokey gets more drama than the average streamer, you know? Uh, undeserved also. She's a very nice person. But it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I feel bad. Like, I don't even know what happened or why, but I feel like she gets dragged into a lot more stuff than than she need, she deserves to be, you know? Because, yeah. This next one she liked is actually a tweet I read in the previous video where Nadia says that Neon, Jack, and Sneeko don't get any pushback while Pokey gets pushback because she's a woman. And this tweet actually got community noted to say, the people that are mentioned in the tweet are also heavily criticized. It has nothing to do with sexism. And then it links two videos that both have over a million views being critical of Neon and Sneeko. XQC responds to Nadia by saying, yes, Nadia, it is the hate towards women that gave the cookie their price tag. Coincidentally, it's also the hate towards women that made everyone live paycheck to paycheck and not be able to afford luxury goods. There's no valid criticism here. Tell him, queen. Kavos responds to Nadia by saying, ah yes, because the reason Pokimane is getting called out is because she's a woman, not because she slapped a logo on an existing bag of cookies and almost tripled the price for them. We all knew this take was coming. This next tweet Pokey liked is from TSM Autumn, who says, health is an investment, unfortunately. Sure, you can go buy $4 cookies with 50 grams of sugar. It's your body. But products that 
that are gluten free with these ingredients are priced like this. Her target audience isn't gamer dudes because health isn't usually their priority. Plus, if a dude said this, it wouldn't even be talked about. LOL. Anything this woman says is made a headline. So many people are obsessed with hating her. LOL. XQC responds to her by saying, how do we tell him? This responds by saying, I keep seeing this talked about. A lot of people implying these cookies are healthy. These cookies are not healthy. They have the damn near same macronutrient breakdown as Oreos. A couple organic ingredients and throw in some vitamin D doesn't mean it's healthy. It's still a highly palatable food with the same calorie content as nearly any other cookie. The next tweet Pokimane likes is from Ciara who says, disheartening to see a lot of you care more about $7 cookies than mass genocide and humanitarian crises. XQC responds to her by saying, be quiet, seriously, shut the fuck up, showing that Ciara was retweeting and talking about the Pokimane cookie stuff during this time. The next tweet Pokimane liked is from Casey Tron, who screenshotted the three XQC responses I read earlier and says, he's still so mad at her for getting gambling banned on Twitch. He's gonna act like he wasn't poor shaming people a month ago while flashing around that ugly watch. XQC grossly poor shamed multiple people. Pokimane insulted a lone troll harassing her in her chat. Pokimane has gotten way more hate from exclusively men, even though what XQC did was repeated on multiple occasions and a way worse offense. I wonder why that is. Casey Tron also quote tweets Pokimane's apology and says, most of the people offended over this very apparent joke are the fuck your feelings assholes. Another person who had a reaction defending Pokimane was the Twitch streamer Hassan, who uploaded a one hour and 10 minute reaction to Moist Critical's video calling out Pokimane. I tweeted this out and said, this guy spent over an hour defending Pokimane's overpriced cookies. Plain Rock responds by saying, it's not hard to call all Twitch streamers losers. WestJet says, if Hassan wasn't conventionally attractive, no one would listen to him. Audience full of mouth breathing idiots. Meanball responds with this thumbnail in the caption over cookies bruh, which I just found completely hilarious. I don't know who made this thumbnail, but it's great. Surreal responds to me by saying, anti-capitalist defends soulless capitalism. Kyle Simcock says, knowing Hassan, he probably doesn't even know the topic of conversation. Just a millionaire defending his millionaire buddy. ZV Bear says, who the fuck unironically watches Hassan and Abi? I picture his audience being fat Marxist bitches with purple hair and kitty ears on their head. Mimalji101 says, both are anti-capitalists in name only, so it is not a surprise that Hassan would defend Pokemon. Juju says, if you sit down and watch a man talk about cookies for an hour, you need to reevaluate your life. Kyra says, bro is easily the worst streamer of all time. Tommy responds by saying, literally no one likes this guy who even watches him. Kyra responds, most hypocritical guy ever. Hates capitalism on paper until him and his bestie profit off of it. Kyra then shows that they got blocked by Hassan because of that tweet and says, laughing my fucking ass off. That one hit deep. But Hassan isn't the only person Kyra was critical of as they tweet out Critical's video and say, what Pokemon did was wrong, but making a 10 minute video about some fucking cookies is wild. Scuba Ryan responds, you should see the dude that talked about it for nearly an hour. Kyra responds, these streamers are milking the hell out of this situation. Anthony shows the tweet of Pokemon telling Invader V that $5 isn't an irrelevant amount of money and captions it by saying, as I've been saying for years, Pokemon is the fakest person I've ever seen in this community. Her whole persona is not real, even her voice. She's like an AI, but sometimes she slips up and says how she really feels. It doesn't matter. These losers are still going to defend her and other big streamers are scared of criticizing her. Cam Nuggets responds by saying, Pokey needs to start calling people the N word again with her chest. Flo says, nobody talks about how she softens her voice and shit whenever she wants sympathy. Trevin Wallace responds by saying, I'm confused. Is she not cooking right here? Anthony responds, no, that's her fake character. Here you go. Linking the clip of Pokemon calling a viewer broke boy. Liz Cat says, anyone can sell cookies no matter their originality for whatever price they choose. It's silly to lie and claim the price isn't for more profit. Clearly it isn't a passion project. It's a cash grab, which is fine. It's generic edible merch. But to attack and belittle those calling out the high price tag on your generic edible merch, it's not okay. Most people are struggling to pay their weekly groceries. American Dad makes this skit with the caption, if they start selling Pokemon cookies in stores. Alright, cookies. Midnight mini cookies. $28? It's four bags. Wait, what? Four bags at $28 is... That's seven. Seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, seven, seven dollars a bag. Math, math is hard for me. When you're an idiot. Wait, what? Man, 
man. $28 in this economy, though? If you're a broke boy, just say so. Broke boy? I'm not a broke boy. Broke boy. Broke boy. What are you, broke? What? You don't have a million dollars in your bank broke account? Broke boy. What? <laughs> you're not a millionaire, idiot. Stop! Broke boy, broke boy. You ain't call me broke boy anymore, are you? Cavill's reacts to Pokemon's apology by saying, Pokemon just released an apology for the joke that she made. You can tell she was 100% serious and annoyed when making them comments, but again lacks any actual accountability. Also, the price of the cookies isn't expensive for some. It's expensive, full stop. Especially since we've seen the original cookie selling for $9.99 for 14 ounces, opposed to Pokemon jacking up the price to $28 for 16 ounces. Chud Logic says, People saying if a man made a joke like this, it would be fine. Forgetting the numerous times XQC has been heavily criticized recently for making jokes centered around his wealth. And don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. Caring about overpriced influencer cookies is lame in my opinion. The original drama over it was overblown. However, Pokemon wants to be seen as a virtuous person, but in moments of public pressure, acts like every other ruthless business focused influencer. Some hate is because she is a woman, but more is because of this reality. A Cheeto responds to Pokemon by saying, You called someone highlighting the expensive price in insane. Denim says, How often are you people eating cookies that a $7 bag of cookies is groundbreaking news for you? Dipped in Poison reacts to Pokemon's clip by saying, I would have been so much meaner to be honest. If someone had the audacity to complain about a health snack when dudes are putting a shitty logo on Hands shirt and charging $50 for it? Have you all ever bought in gluten free bread? That shit is $12 for half a loaf. Anyway, the government is using your tax money for genocide right now, so go yell at something more important. Unrimmed says, Pokemon really went the, it's only $5 route. I knew it reminded me of something. They then show a picture of Pokimane next to Bad Bunny and the caption, Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. And then a woman responding, they're the same picture. Jake Lucky says, Maybe this is a wild take, but I kind of feel like this Pokimane cookie drama is just like the XQC React drama. Both could have handled their situations a lot better, but at the end of the day, we're talking about cookies and reacting. Let's just take a breather. James responds by saying, It ain't about the cookies. It's about her blatant hypocrisy and arrogance. Jake Lucky responds, and I agree with you. XQC's reactions were kind of the same. Both could have avoided so much backlash if they had just not acted the way they did. Pranam responds by saying, XQC wasn't a hypocrite at any point. He owned up to it. It was more like, fuck you. Pokemon pretends to be a moral authority and have a moral high ground, unlike XQC who leans into the fuck you persona. So when comparing XQC reaction content to Pokemon cookie drama, I actually don't fully agree with the guy who responded to Jake Lucky here, because while Pokemon having a fake moral authority is worse than XQC just owning his bad behavior, I think stealing people's videos through bare bones reaction content is worse than selling overpriced cookies. But to be fair, I am a creator, so I might be biased on that point. Either way, I think XQC in this situation is worse, despite me not disliking him as much as Pokemon in general. But moving on to Omega Pro's response to all of this, he quote tweets the Pokemon clip and says, I'm not saying Pokemon hasn't done anything worth criticizing, but holy shit, I cannot comprehend how she gets so much shit for the most benign things imaginable. She made overpriced cookies, and people acting like she caught a body. It's not like she groomed underage fans, or gambled on sites they co-owned without disclosing it, or is racist, homophobia, and transphobic, or sexually assaulted someone. Like who would do any of those crazy ass things? Oh wait, a lot of streamers actually. Wow. I'm tired of Pokemon getting dragged through the mud for the most, it doesn't matter shit ever. Meanwhile you got other content creators being cartoonishly evil and all I see is love and support for them. This community is wildly misogynistic, and you were all helpless losers. Nicholas Diorio tweets about this situation when he says, Pokemon claims she's getting an unreasonable level of hate because she's a woman. I would argue Pokey would suffer a mental breakdown within one week of someone creating a comparable Reddit post to the Boogie2988 essay found on r slash Sam and Tolkley. In reality, Pokemon is getting unreasonable hate because of her inability to put the phone down and let a social media team handle her business ventures. It's impossible to maintain her fake, bubbly, corporate friendly, and robotic personality when she produces hours of live content each and every day. She should just be herself. The Boogie reference wasn't just a throwaway comparison. This really reminds me of when Boogie's streaming career hurt the image he wanted to portray on YouTube. I think most
most of her problem is how fake she comes off. The baby voice apology videos are some of her worst, laughing my ass off. Teamstar says, I have been trying to warn this community about 2 out of 10 Pokemon for years. Finally, I have been vindicated. TK Breezy responds to the Pokemon clip by saying, It is wild to me that having her to specify this was a joke is met with, Oh, now it's a joke because of backlash. If you are an insert thing, just say so, is definitely common phrasing. Furthermore, a little sass from a streamer to a rude chatter shouldn't be this highly controversial. Wood's response to Dextero, quoting critical, criticizing Pokemane and says, YouTubers turn into Che Guevara once in a while and it's almost never for a good reason. Everyone in the replies here needs to calm down a little. I'm seeing death threats over influencer cookie prices here. Hunter reacts to the critical quote by saying, this has to be the most brain dead influencer controversy of all time. Tom or Samat responds, critical acting like he doesn't sell plain white t-shirts for $25. This is so clearly just cause Pokey is a woman. Linus Media Group shares a picture of his trending tab with Pokemon trending at 22k posts and Dream did what trending at 21k posts and says, I won't say that the internet can't tell the difference between a small scandal and a large one, but I will say that these two numbers probably shouldn't be as close as they are. And in terms of the severity of the controversy, I 100% agree. What Dream is getting called out for is infinitely worse than anything Pokemon has done. And I will cover all of that in the next video. So if you don't want to miss that one, be sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section below, because despite this being cookie drama, there seems to be a lot of interesting points that can be extrapolated from this situation, such as people thinking that this is only blowing up because Pokemon's a woman, people thinking that the main issue is the price of the cookies, versus people thinking the main issue is Pokemon's hypocrisy or the fake personality she puts on. So with these wide variety of takes, I would love to hear what yours is in the comments section below. While you're at it, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more content, and with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.